Orgiat Sarap, remember? O G E A R T. It's an Orgiat Sarap. And this syrup might be kind of scare you off or in a lot of tiki cocktails that require orgiat syrup, right? And uh, I've shown you a simple recipe how to make it. It's a nutty syrup. It's opaque in look and it's very exotic in flavor. Guys, and I wanna welcome on this show my very special guest. I would say the guy who mentored me into what I'm doing now in this show. And his name is none other than Joel Villafana. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I don't know how to make a cocktail like you. Right. But I mean, I'm real, real proud in terms of our bodies and what you're doing here on this show. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Good uh, to be here. It's, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for Welcome. inviting me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joe, based on this syrup, yeah. do you like these kind of flavors. So you know you always blow my way with your concoctions yeah. and, and that's one of the, of the reasons why I'm so glad you're doing a show like this. I have never seen a nut syrup being used in any type of drink at all. I didn't think on Cup of Joy ever used that. that that's the first time I ever saw that. Yeah, and as I, I would always say, it's a tiki style. Tiki style. So it wouldn't work for every cocktail. Right, right, yeah? right. Tiki meaning the, the, the European and the American countries look to the Caribbean as the place to get away, the place to eat the most exotic foods, flavorful foods, and cocktails is not left out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? Like cashews, almonds. Yeah. That's it real. was my twist to add cashews because right. cashews is big in Trinidad and right. I love cashews as well. Yeah. So I want to add that flavor. But you could definitely make this with hazelnut, pistachio. Any type of nut? Yeah, but the original is almonds. Right. right? Okay. Um, they actually used to make it with barley before, mm -hmm. but they realized that barley didn't lend too much of flavor. And then when they experimented with the almonds, almonds actually became the staple based of the syrup. And it, and it pairs well with, with, it, with this mongi rum. Do you know I'm a rummy? Hey, this mongi rum is actually uh, made in 1703, mm -hmm. where the company started making some really aromatic, deep, flavorful rums. And this is intense, right? Um, it's aged in American oak barrels, and then, and then after, into bourbon cast barrels. Right. The bourbon is charred, so charred meaning they would add that that heat inside the barrel after the first use. That's so it's like a black barrel. Yes, a black, black barrel. barrel. So that's okay. why you get the charred. And what that does, it adds a bit of smokiness to the drink. Excellent. To Excellent. the spirit, yeah? So we're gonna start this drink, Joe. And I'm gonna... But the carnival tobacco was real, eh? and, right. it, and, and it continues. It continues it to continues, be real. It continues, even here. Yeah. How was it though, like for you? How was it, to be honest? I, I was kind of happy for the baby steps. Um, because if you throw your mind back to 2021, I mean, we literally had nothing happening really. The virtual stuff, I was upset by the virtual stuff. I, oh, I couldn't yeah. deal with that. I think but, it was like out of touch because yeah. it's, it can't be interactive with no, it. No, you no, know? no, no. And you know me, I'm a fetter. So, yes. so yeah. So I mean, I was able to fet this year as, as I'm accustomed, but it was maybe set we were able to do nice little concert events type of thing. I was cool with it. So I'm introducing the Audiat into this cocktail as well. So we have the nice black barrel, right? right? And those flavors mix well, eh? Can I smell the rum tie? You know, I yeah, like yeah, smell yeah. my rums, you know. Please do, by all means. I've never had mongi. I don't know how come I've never had mongi. Uh, mongi is a big, big rum in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice notes. Yeah. So what you're getting, Joe, this is actually made in copper pot stills and column stills. So Meaning? Meaning, copper pot, meaning the copper, it actually lends to the flavor of the base spirit in, right. the, in the distillation process, yeah? And, and then the column still is more stainless steel. So this is actually a combination of two. Certain spirits, like gin, vodka, they either use copper pot or column stills, yeah? So that actually lends to the finished product in terms of a much more, more natural flavors right, coming right, out. Okay. Natural flavors, right. yeah? And guys, this is another liqueur that is staple in the Mai Tai but actually this one is so good and, uh, and I invite you to try it. This is a Quantro. 
is one of the best ones. This is the good stuff. Orange flavored. Yeah, orange. Orange flavored. flavored. It makes a lot difference than your regular, your regular triple sec. So that is the, the sweet, right? That is also sweet, but it has alcohol in it. And to balance back, we add in some limes, right? Fresh it up. Fresh limes. Fresh limes. Fresh, fresh limes. Since I'm making two, I'm gonna be having at least two ounces of fresh limes. And during this season, Joe, is it anything particularly that you missed? Any kind of memory that you know you're accustomed doing? Anytime carnival reach, you know, one of the first fets you open the carnival with, yeah. you know, yeah. like, like mocha, like mocha, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Traditionally, for the last, I would say, decade or two, I mean, I, I would have gone to mocha to open my carnival season. So that was uh, that during that time, just after Christmas, after after the New Year, that first fet kind of vibes right. is, is, is mocha for me. Uh, I felt a little how then, and I think if if I if if I'm being really serious. Panorama. Panorama semis. Panorama? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, feel emptiness yeah. because yeah, not being in the savannah for Panorama is... I feel empty. I feel like, you know, I got punishment or something. You know, I can have the way of... Like, you say, well, what are you wrong? Why, why am I not in the savannah yeah, for Panorama? Yeah, yeah. Panorama is the vibes. Panorama yeah, is the vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I feel it with that, eh? I feel it with that. So I'm just going up with two ounces of the line. Cool. But you go ahead. I mean, what are other experiences? Because, like, in terms of performance, like, was there any performance that you still think Winter, that... you know me, you know me. Yeah. I, I enjoy the festival in its entirety. I mean, Carnival is the only time I, Draw a custom. I go hard. You know, our custom bounce, so, you have most of the fets. Yeah, so for me to pinpoint yeah, one no. thing is... And so you're there, you just be there early in the fets, or Yeah, I, I, open, I open the doors. And you just come and look for me, make sure it's tie here. I open the right. doors and then I come to look for you to yeah. see where I get my drinks. Yes. And then I enjoy the party. <laughs> and, and and wifey, like we don't leave out wifey. She no, does have a good time, you know. She's encouraging any nonsense. She's encouraging any nonsense. Oh my gosh. You, you know that secret. So we use one ounce of the sweet, one ounce of the sour tomatoes. Nice. Yeah. And uh, to this Joe, I actually created on this same shirt show uh, aromatic bitters, and I create this so it will actually go with some of the nice spice notes that we get from the black barrel right. and to this i'm just gonna add so that's 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 i'm seeing bay leaf yeah it's actually bay leaf uh cinnamon nutmeg have a whiff it's very wow. aromatic it's a and warm. you had this like soaking here so this is yeah it's actually my own homemade bitters so you did you did this on one of the barbody episodes on one of the barbody episodes yeah so Ooh. the recipe is there for anybody who would like to go and right, see it right right or oh, the show is there actually yeah and uh, with bitters, you know, you just need a little, a little. few dashes mm -hmm. to go in it, right? What was, what was your drinking experience like? For the Fellas, yeah. I reach. Hey. We're drinking pot, Oh reach. my God. We're drinking pot, And I bring reach. wings and, <laughs> and things. The wings and things. Wings and things. That's what we're talking about. You good? Yeah, man. Sit down now, man. Sit down now, man. Oh, What's up, brother? Hey. All is well? Nice so, to have so you on the show. This is my carnival buddy. And, and when we talk in depression over the period of time for Carnival to Banker, yeah, we, we bounce heads and be depressed together. <laughs> Here's one thing I ain't doing again. Not missing a carnival, not giving up a feather. Not, I just want I just want it back. I need it back. Please. Yes, who wanted to ask? Feel you yes, I feel you who wanted to ask? Yeah. yeah. So which fet you went outside? Which which people fed you? Well, I try everything. You know? Anything that give me anything they offer up, I I look in at at, at just opportunity. I manage the risk, and you know what? I, I could say I, I can't say I didn't have a good time, but yeah. at the end of the day, I made the best of the situation. The best of what it was. Yeah, 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 you know. Yeah. But but I mean, sending me back to that kind of punishment with pods and not kind of thing, and then Joe getting vexed with me how I didn't put him in my pod once there. <laughs> time. You know, that, that is always causing a little bit of a, a you know. I, I I I think I just know too much people to be able to try and. And you know the, the problem with that kind of thing is that you can't enjoy it together. Yeah. You know one of the things that we went to. I mean, I, I distinctly recall the end of it is what brought me the joy because you know what, when we were leaving, we kind of met together. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh my goodness, look at this. The togetherness of carnival. Yeah, that's the what we. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, is yeah. what carnival is. is about, the the pods yeah, yeah. is a great idea to make something. I don't want to see another pod in my life. You don't want to see it. I don't yeah. want to see another yeah, pod in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Not even an iPod. I don't, I don't <laughs> or AirPod. Nothing pod. Nothing, nothing pod. pod. I want to see it in my life again. Brother, I reached just in time, eh? Because 
I uh, actually made an orgiat syrup here, which I was explaining to Say you about Joel. An orgiat. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's not a kind of... You wouldn't have been my friend. I was very you wouldn't particular. have been my friend if you didn't, if you didn't yeah. mention it. <laughs> yeah, I was very particular in saying yeah, yeah, and spelling yeah. what right. it is, right? O G. E A R T. Very well. Right? Orgiat, <laughs> some people say orgit, right? But some it's people say orgit. Orgit. Yeah, orgit. Or yeah, orgit. I like orgit. Right? <laughs> right? And uh, it's in a popular cocktail called the Mai Tai. And I'm about to shake this now because we have all the ingredients here for the cocktail. And uh, I'm going to put it in some nice oh, carnival looking glasses. Yes, you know what I mean? It, it, it's a little iridescent, have some colors in it. Yeah. I study this man carnival time, little boy. Yeah, boy. You know what I study? I study how that man, the first time I was in the show, once he turned out, he had to clap the mint. Yeah. And I say, wait now, that oh. song, that song that. Bravo, bravo. Clap and clap and make it sound like a snap. Hey. I study the mint in it. Yeah. You're right. I study yeah, the mint yeah. with that man, the boy. Mint, what, what we do with that is we slap it up. Wake it up and, right, and, yeah, and, all oils, and all the oils. And yeah. everything is slapped to wake up a little bit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, gotta slap it to wake yeah. it up. Yeah, man. You, you need to tell your partner, Steve, man. Any other. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> so, but yeah. how it was for you, though? I mean, how was the experience? You know, I mean, like, I really, really miss it. And I really miss you guys. Yeah, you know, I, I, think, I think another year without yeah. it will be really tough. But yeah. I said it last year. I managed to survive, but you know something? Yeah. I mean, the tabanka continues. It's as if, you know, we just keep... Nothing has... We haven't gone back to that. I mean, Monday morning, you're, 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 you're hearing the noise waking up, the, the feeling of, of juve, the, the, the... And I mean, and that is... That is like secondary to me. I still want more fets, boy. Fets after fets after fets. Ah, that, that it's is not what, the same, it's not no, the same. No. It's a, the struggle is. It was a really a struggle. So, brother, this is a simple garnish, and I'm gonna pretty it up too much for you guys. The glasses are pretty already, anyway. Of course. The glasses are pretty. So I'm gonna just lay here. Out for the dehydrated. No, no, no. When is the tie just behind the bar? Then? Like, where's gonna shoot from? Um. <laughs> First, I would say wifey. Serious? She's dressed, man. Wifey is dressed. Yeah, she's dressed, man. She's dressed, man. Sometimes even when I come in and she say, "Hey, Monsieur, nah, take off that hat." On this hat, your wife is dressed. You know what I mean? Nah, nah, nah. Your wife is dressed. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Come to marry her. Nah, 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 nah. nah, nah. <laughs> hey, you know why? Uh, uh, one of the reasons why I marry her, she has style, you know. Oh, she okay. can dress, so she know. But, but right out, yeah. yeah. I think she actually did. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you see? All right, guys. So I'm gonna serve this. It's a crushed ice, right? right? And it's a drink where you enjoy all the flavors. And most importantly, you're wrong. Cheers. Cheers, brother. Cheers, man. Cheers, guys. To Carnival 2023. It's a little full, but that's all that in the tropical cocktails. Ooh. All that is part of it. Whoa. That so is some pressure there, boy. Mm -hmm. I could have do without a carnival Monday that when we didn't have a carnival. You know, the just monkey a... rum, the monkey yeah. rum. You, you drink monkey rum, you? I've had it once before. Yeah. I've been particular well, again when I was in Barbados, you know, you're telling me when I was rum and, 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 and they just pull that out. You know, and I mean it's, it's outstanding, eh? It's outstanding. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. What I like about it, to be honest, it pairs well with uh, the syrup that we made. Anybody wanna try this delicious cocktail at home, go ahead and log on to copperjoecaribbean.com. <laughs>